Right folks, <clears throat> I've walked up a bit of the road. Cheddar's uh, cut off for now. So here's a footpath across some fields, but look, lots of cows in there. I wouldn't go in any of those fields. Now if I carried on the other track a minute ago, I'd still be on it probably now, just working up to go across the top there. So I've done quite well really folks, I recognise a lot of these fields all here now. There's the entrance to Pretty now. So what we'll do, we're going to have a quick look in the church. Not coming all this way and not going to say hello in the church. Um, then what we do, we make our way up another lane. For about a quarter of an hour. Another lane. And then we get up and climb up towards the barrows. Now there are cows about in some of the fields there. So, and I've had to escape from them before now. So, and then I'll work my way down through the mineries and walk I explored years ago. And then we'll be into the, well, we, sh we might be into the afternoon now. I don't feel like we are, but we could be. And then we'll be making our way back to Ebber Gorge, Wookie Hole and Wells. Uh, we've done the, what I call the steep part of the climb, uh, of the walk now. Um, there's a caravan and camping club here. But this, and it's got a little shop. It's somewhere if they did have tents, I would consider coming out to practice camping out here um, but I might not as well because if it pours with rain you're stuck ain't you you know what I mean but if I got a vehicle yeah I think it's gonna have to happen at one point I'm gonna have to even if someone lets me borrow one for a month or here and there let me borrow it and then you owe you see Going past the caravan camping club. <coughs> it does look closed. I've got the signs out. Well, it's handy to know if you want to get a coffee back there, you can. But I don't know if it's actually open. It looked, it, it says open, but... Yeah, I'm not doing it today. No, I've got all my own. I haven't even touched my drink yet. I should start topping up, really. I'm, I'm going to once I get to the church. When I get to the church... Look at that style. You hardly get to it, look. That's a quick way over, actually, to the route, but I do want to do the church first, so. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Right, just first sign of the burrows. Well, I did see them earlier. There's just a couple showing there. And then just down here we've got the church behind those trees. There it is, look. Which I'm heading for now. Um, I'm pretty now. There's the Bar Barrows Lane going up there, which I've got to join. After I've been in the church I would do that and had a drink and something to eat. It's because we're a bit at the halfway point. Once I get to the church, um, we've come up from 
Just to remind everyone, it's the 21st of September 2022. I've come up from Draycott Village, all uphill, for a large part of the first part of the walk. I'm now in Pretty. I've walked for quite a while. Uh, I've had to do a lot of road walking because cows everywhere. Because I just remind people, I normally do pretty. Um, when I had the van, no, it was okay. I drive Valberta over here. But when I haven't had the van, I've had to come and do it in the winter when the cows are taken out of the fields. So what I'm going to do now is climb up here like the kids do. Somebody lost their pet lunch. As you can tell it was a child's. And a lorry went right over it and squashed it all. There was like a nice yogurt drink, three lovely healthy buns, uh, a fruit bar, and, a, and it was all, and a little silver spoon. And it was all splattered. It was, it, I don't know, it must have been there for hours and someone's just decided to splatter it. So in a minute, after the church, I'll be coming out of entrance over there. There's a church, look. I'm walking across the fields to a stile over there. Then making my way along Barrow Lane. Like I said, even when the 126 is running, uh, you have to do a big hike to get here if you're, walk if it, if you're walking. Now, it would be impossible to do this once I can't get a cheddar bus because I couldn't walk from Churchill here and maybe say Winscombe even. Um, it would be too much. You, you probably could do it from Winscombe. You probably could just do it. Now here's a little bench, look. Queen Elizabeth written on it. Go ahead. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth. And there's her crown. Diamond Jubilee 2013. I just stop and take a picture. So I used to park Alberta by that tree there, around the corner. She was always parked there. And I used to go down across the stile there to get into the fields and up here for the church. St. Lawrence at Pretty, which I've visited now for several years. I feel quite sad actually knowing I might not be able to get over here easily again. I did it a couple months ago when I did, I came up from Westbury Submendip. And I came, I don't know actually, I don't think I came to the church. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I went straight across the field, I remember now. I think I was short of time. Pretty. Church of St. Lawrence, Wildflower Meadow. Welcome to our meadow. And there's the church. This was shut a lot as well during the COVID period, like most churches were. I don't know if it'd be open now. It's uh, wouldn't be right not to visit the church, since I'm. It might be it might be shut. I don't know. Please close the door. Yeah. Looks like it might be open then. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll do the video first. There's a picture of the Queen now. This might be a condolence book. That's a nice picture of her, isn't it? Oh, look. 
worship. I'll, I'll have, have one of those. Because it's all part of history now. That lovely font there. The bells. I do. The, I always do the video first because sometimes a security alarm will ring and uh, people come in. As the altar. It has all been videoed before, and they did a beautiful arrangement of poppies at the remembrance during the, the centenary that time for the First World War. St. Lawrence are pretty, Mother's Union. They got the uh, Ten Commandments there. Thou shalt not still. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbour. Thou shalt not do the murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. They're all basic values, aren't they, of society still? Looks like the first lot have been removed for now. Some sort of badge there as well under that. Yeah, looks like this has been taken down for now. Just do the little chapel, then I'll take a few pictures. <sighs> oh, we're so sweet. These were the donkeys and the Virgin Mary there. Lovely picture of a horse and sheep and geese and cows. memory of Catherine Gibbons. She was only 19 and she was taken in 1988. It's a lovely picture that one isn't it? That's a lovely one as well there. That's the sort of picture that George Underwood would draw. You see all the colours coming out on the floor there. Right over now, right, short video. Pictures. I'm just leaving St Lawrence now. The kids are out playing. A <coughs> small little graveyard there. Now I'm heading across the field. I have recorded this before, everyone. I signed the book in there um, as well because I, I did used to always stop at the St Lawrence. I've always had a little stop there. I stop in a lot of churches actually, but this was one of mine that I liked a lot. I like stopping here. I felt peace when I come over here actually. It's nice to hear the sound of the kids as well actually, playing. Don't normally hear them. So it's a nice day, they're letting them out to play. Yeah, this is a well. Little walk across, I'll be joining up with the Barrows Lane. 